Hostile and discriminatory is how one woman describes working at the administrative office for Lynchburg City Schools. Now she's filing a lawsuit. 10 News reporter Magda Lelousant tells us what led attorneys to sue in federal court. The Lynchburg City School System has a federal lawsuit on its hands. Roanoke attorney Tommy Strelka's law firm represents Tawana Hancock and former Lynchburg assistant school superintendent John McClain. Ms. Hancock certainly experienced discrimination and racial bias um, at the workplace and it it seemed to stem from the superintendent at the time. According to the complaint, then interim superintendent Dr. Larry Massey referred to African Americans or black employees as the help and allegedly said he would hang them from a tree when talking about an insubordinate minority employee. And I'll tell you, um, ever since filing this lawsuit, um, other witnesses have reached out to us about uh, what they have observed from Superintendent Massey. As a result, she claims she was unlawfully demoted and reassigned to be a sixth grade teacher later that year. There were uh, complaints about her that were absolutely baseless. The 25 page lawsuit details an investigation led by interim superintendent Massey into the complaints made against Hancock. John McLean, former assistant superintendent, was a part of the first interviews. He expressed his concerns that the superintendent and others investigating the allegations may have been biased. After that, McLean says he was excluded from further participation and his job was ultimately eliminated in 2018. It had never been written up, had never been reprimanded and all of a sudden loses the job for sticking up for somebody else because they were being racially discriminated against. Stroke Law plans to file McLean's lawsuit in a week. The damages that both plaintiffs allege will be a cost to the school system, and the attorney's fees from our office will be a cost to the school system. So, you know, it, to me, th these cases should be settled on the front end, but, you know, if Lynchburg wants to fight, I got my boxing gloves. We reached out to Lynchburg City and school board members. All say they don't comment on pending litigations. In Lynchburg, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.